Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to another Warcraft replay here. We are on the map Northern Isles, and we have an Orc vs. Night Elf yet again. Uh, we have Hitman returning, spawning in as the Red Orc uh, somewhere on the map. The game's not loaded yet. Uh, been noticing these long loading screens recently, and I'm not sure why uh, he actually spawns as the blue. Blue. Uh, this is weird. Ready to work. Unless, uh... Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, I had, um... I had ally colors on. Uh, I think that was because I was trying to test out the, um, 2v2 replays and stuff. So, uh, yeah, that was weird. I could have sworn that him and was supposed to be raided anyway. Uh, so yeah, that is gonna be the case. We hit... Uh, he is going to be spawning on the bottom left. Sini, the blue knight up on the top right here. Uh, once again on Northern Isles. Uh, Ready to work. Yeah, not much else to say. I was basically just browsing through the replays, choosing or trying to pick which one to uh, make a video for, and yeah, uh, I saw a couple of games posted between work. these two. I'm not sure if it's just practice Work or anything complete. um but this one might be interesting question mark um so far it's going to be pretty standard for both sides blade master for Ready hitman uh keeper for shini but hopefully uh we might something we might see something interesting later on i don't know um here's hoping at least um Ready i think that's second hero complete. for uh, Fusini is a bit out of the ordinary, even though it might not be. I'm curious to see how he uses it. We'll have to, of course, wait until tier 2 for that to show up. Um, let's see if both sides are Ready going to, to be scouting each other. Um, yeah, Wisp is going to try and get out of there, hopefully. Uh, unless it's expecting a Farseer to come out as the first hero, which is not going to be the case. Blade Master for Hitman. And immediately going for the Warrior Camps there. Mineral the Keeper is going to do the uh, Ogre Magi Camp, thanks to the Ancient of War, and is going to pick up the Wanda Mana Stealing. Blade Master, on the other hand, is going to pick up the plus 3 Ring of Protection. And it's gonna fully clear it out. Just gonna get about 60% weights to level 2. Uh, Keeper, I believe, just hit 2 as well. Thanks to the bigger camp. Okay, um. Fast tech for Sini. I was actually. I was actually looking for any uh, indications of a fast tech here. I don't want to sort of place down just yet. Um, yeah, and we also have a fast tick for Hitman as well. We're under attack. Uh, no war mill so far, so we might not be going any trolls here. Blade Master gonna hit that level 2 after taking out the uh, Murloc camp, as the Peon is gonna get taken out here, uh, thanks to that entangle. More moon wells here, still no Hunter's Hole, so we could potentially be going for a uh, Droid of Talon strategy here. It is Work against complete. Orc. Um, normally, it used to be the go-to, but I guess nowadays it's kind of... Um, it might be like 40-60 um, when it comes to the appearance of Droids of Talons versus just double entry lore units here. Blademaster, gonna pick up a TV staff, is going to miss out on the boost of speed, but... Oh, actually, I'm pretty sure um, the shop has two boots of speed uh, versus one because oh, actually, no, that's not boots of speed. That's slippers. Uh, my bad. Uh, I'm so used to the slippers looking like Spider-Man feet. Uh, but yeah, no boots for either of the heroes here. TP staff, of course, onto that blade master, but he needs to be careful uh, not to use it when the entangle is available because I uh, entangle can just cancel that straight up. Uh, more grunts being added here as Great Hole is about to be completed. 
Still no Warmill, so it, we might just be going for uh, Grunts with potentially Shaman. Uh, actually, no wait, uh, he could always just go for Beastery Turn Totem, so uh, I will just wait for that to uh, reveal itself. Ancient Wonders, uh, place down, still no indication. Uh, seeing as we don't have a Hunter Soul, it is most likely going to be Double Ancient of Wounds here. As Blamez is still chasing the uh, Keeper. Uh, Grunts actually try to go for a block there, but um, that was a bit weird. Uh, Gap kind of let the Keeper through as Treants are going to be plopped over here and going to kill a couple of Peons thanks to uh, the Entangle. As we do have Panda coming out as the second hero, this is the um, sort of interesting second hero pick that I would say, for, uh, especially for an orc matchup. Normally we would see like Beastmaster or maybe even the Tinkerer, but yeah, Panda second um, tells me that he's going to favor a lot on Drunken Haze, which actually he um, did pick up as his first ability here. Um, it's going to act as a pseudo curse, sort of, because uh, it is a chance to uh, miss your attacks if you're under the effect of Drunken Haze. Uh, Breath of Fire picked up as a second ability as well. I'm not sure how useful it's going to be considering how high HP uh, these units are from the orc side. Shadow Hunter coming out here as a second hero is going to pick up his Serpent Wards first and most likely a Healing Wave second. Uh, but so far he's just holding on to that. Never mind. It's going to learn Healing Wave second. As the Blade Master is still chasing the Keeper of the Grove here. Uh, I'm surprised neither of these heroes actually picked up a boost of speed to maybe just. Uh, stop this cycle from happening, but I guess, um, I mean, Sini's fine with Blademaster uh, kept in check, uh, preventing him from getting additional levels. Meanwhile, the, Blade, uh, the Panda uh, should be able to just supersede him eventually. Ring of Regen being picked up by the Panda as well. Uh, okay, we are indeed going for the Grunt slash Shaman build here. Um, I was, ex I was um, expecting this, but considering it was entirely plausible that we would go uh, bestiary uh, turn totem, was uh, it was still a possibility. So I was actually refraining myself from making that We're assumption. Uh, Fortress deck on the way, and it's actually 60% done. Warm is also being placed down here as well, so we should be seeing. Uh, Perhaps some trolls being added to the mix as well. On the other hand, for Sini, he is still pumping out those Drills of Talons here. Master's training is on its way as tier 3 was completed. Brewmaster at level 3 is going to sell the Ring of Region, in fact. Uh, going to keep hold of their Talisman Evasion. Uh, I am not sure if he's going to put a point into Drunken Brawler, because that is bit of a mixture of Critical Strike and Evasion, but since he has a Talisman, I'm not sure if it's worth the ability point. Uh, Shadowhunter actually has a, a Scourge Bone Chime, so that is additional lifesteal added to those melee units, so Grunt and the Blade Master, which is particularly important. It's not going to be that great later on, when I, where I assume uh, Trolls are going to be added as well. Uh, added training on those shaman on its way for the purge and just additional stats. Um, is there anything significant being purged? I guess the cyclone actually. Um, cyclone is pretty good enough to uh, get that purge on. Tinkerer coming out as a third hero as well, so we're going three heroes for um, Sini. He needs to be careful not to lose his uh, very very squishy heroes to those to that blade master. But considering the Blade Master doesn't actually have any impressive items, um, perhaps it's not a worry to him. Research complete. Beastier being placed down here, most likely for that uh, Code Beast aura. Uh, 
reinforced defenses are going to be upgraded, so those bros will have fortified Research armor now. Uh, it's going to stop just the uh, orc bar harassment. And we do have troll berserkers uh, being trained as well, so yeah, pretty good, pretty um, pretty standard uh, tier three comp that uh, we have been seeing a lot recently now. Uh, just a little sad we won't be seeing any turns, but uh, trolls are a good enough spot as well. Um, archers with Druid Talons, a bit of an adaptation as well from the traditional just mass Druids here. Um, yeah, oh, we are going to have a bit of a fight. Park Factory is going to get immediately sniped as the Serpent Wards are being a slightly annoying cyclone of the blade master is not going to get purged as he might get surrounded here um this could be a bit of a problem never mind it seems like uh Sini's not actually caring about the blade master uh oh is going to get entangled there as uh the blade master as i mean as soon as he got entangled at least he tp'd but uh yeah that was just a lot of damage coming in from uh Sini's side as we also pick up a Tinkerer from, uh, from Hitman. That this is, yeah. Normally, I don't expect uh, Tinkerers on both sides of the battlefield here. Uh, I guess occasionally we do see like Nagas being picked into the uh, Tinkerer, but uh, maybe the Pocket Factory is worth it enough. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. As the Blade Master, I believe, is just going to get resurrected through the altar. Yeah, I do like the archers being added here into uh, this Droid of Talon comp. Obviously, uh, the minus armor from the Fairy Fire is going to be super impactful, along with the DPS from the archer, as the Altar of Storms is being bursted down here. I'm, uh, Hitman really needs to do something about this, otherwise his Blame Master is not going to show up anytime soon, as it does go down. Not enough pe uh, peons were pulled in to go for the repairs there. We are still at level 2 Servant Ward, so they don't do as much damage as uh, Hitman obviously would like. But yeah, the Blade Master being gone for a while is a bit problematic. TP scroll by the Panda. He does have a Mana Stone, uh, which is kind of good as well. Probably going to go for a Breath of Fire here. Uh, big Clump actually being... Pretty terrifying. I'm surprised he didn't toss the Dragon Haze first, but oh uh, well. And this looks really oppressive on the side of uh, Sini. Hitman really can't do much as uh, he's trying to salve us, salve us as much as possible. But I mean, orc healing is not that impressive to begin with, so this siege is not looking good for him. Brutal Lounge gonna go down too, and that's gonna be. I guess no cells for a while. Um, Altar is now up, but I honestly don't know how much the Blade Master can do, honestly, that uh, if he does get resurrected. Serpent Ward's trying its best, but like I said, unless your opponent is uh, those Clockwork Goblins, you're not really going to kill much there, and the Barracks is going to go down. A little bit oppressive. Another Breath of Fire is going to go on the gold line there as uh, Masses training for the Shaman is on its way. I'm not sure if that's going to be super impactful. Um, we don't actually have that many units on the side of Hitman to actually benefit off of Bloodlust versus this many uh, Night Off units here. Kind of going for another uh, Drunk of Fire combo is going to kill a couple of Peons on the line. And I think that might be game. Undersoul has been finished as it is going to research the uh, Ultra Vision. We do have a couple of Chimera Roosts also being placed here as well. Um, not sure if it's going to mean We're too much. We do also have an expansion on the top side here as. Oh, we do have a fight. Uh, still without the Blade Master, is going to try their best to try and make something happen as level 4 has been attained by the 
uh, the panda. Another cyclone onto the shadow hunter is going to get purged, but another cyclone is going to follow. I mean, there's so many dots with so much uh, mana that uh, I don't think there's enough purge mana on the side of Hitman to uh, prevent that from happening. Panda going for another Drunken Fire combo there. Kodo Beast is probably going to be the target number one uh, for Sini as TP Skull is going to get channeled by the Shadow Hunter as he is going to drop low. Unfortunately, he's only going to TP like a couple meters away from his original position. Blade Master has popped out now, but he is still level 2 without any significant items. Um, yeah, this is looking really solid for Sini. Uh, we do have a couple of bot losses here, but like I said, uh, kept trading mana with the purge with cyclones. Um, so like, that basically means you have no bloodlust mana, and if you bloodlust, obviously you won't have any purge mana. So like, it's it's a very big conundrum for the orc player here. Hitman's gonna. Probably try some last ditch effort. Cyclone is going to be had onto the Blade Master, preventing him from uh, getting any momentum. As the Panda is still a lot of mana and is going to go for another Breath of Fire. Going to kill off a couple of more units as Archers are going to pick off the straggling hit point uh, low HP units here. Tinker is going to get entangled. Will he be able to escape? Is going to get a healing wave, but a Breath of Fire is going to finish the job there. So, despite what I said about the Panda not. Probably not going to get any uh, kills with the Breath of Fire, um, I do indeed take that back because he's able to pick up so many kills here with the Breath of Fires. Uh, Blade Master is target number one, but he is getting Cycloned here. Still, like, Sini's at uh, 70 supply versus Hitman's 34. Um, I mean, the game's pretty much over. Uh, Chimera's we do have Chimera number 1 being produced. I'm not sure if we have any more. Ready to ride. Uh, actually, no, we have two Chimeras in the air. That is probably going to be a devastating sight for Hitman because um, unfortunately he doesn't have that many anti-air units. Uh, most of his trolls have actually got killed. And oh, he does have a Raider or so, but I'm not sure if that's going to be enough. Magnetor Camp. Maybe a bit too much for uh, the Orc Heroes to deal with, um, or perhaps not. We did have a Stormbolt onto the Shadowhunter there, but he is going to uh, live just barely. Coda Beast also very low HP as we do have the attack coming through and the Chimeras have shown themselves. That is just going to be GG from Hitman and yeah, that is going to be it for Sini. Is Sini able to... Uh, I don't know, he, um, he played very solidly, I'm not sure if it was uh, anything to do with his army comps, uh, the panda, yeah he actually did quite a bit, um, I'm not sure why the game's not ending here. Uh, yeah, the panda did quite some work, keeper of course. Always impactful with the entangles and such. Uh, yeah, um, it could. Uh, the loss could be attributed to the fact that the Blade Master was just super underpowered this game, but um, I'm not sure. I do, of course, like the dots with the archers. Um, yeah, that's just gonna be that. Hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I will see you guys again next time. Take care.